Hey guys, what's up? This is another iOS app development video, and today um, I have a user requested, um, a viewer requested video. Um, it's requested by, I believe, Mr. Gusimus. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but um, it's kind of based off my previous video, which was how to create a random number generator. And um, he asked if I could create a, uh, a guessing game where it would generate a, a random number and then you would try to guess that number. And it's actually really simple to do, and I thought it was a pretty good idea. And uh, by the way, this is my little dog. And um, yeah, but anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Um, so we can go to File, New, New Project, and um, we can go to Single View Application, and uh, we'll call it Random, Random Guessing Game will be just fine, um, and then select Automatic Reference Counting, yes, and uh, click Create and save it to wherever you'd like. So, um, it's built right off what you learned in my last uh, video. And um, so, first, we're going to go jump right into our viewcontroller.h. After the UI view controller, we're going to do open curly brackets and close them. And uh, inside those curly brackets, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, we're going to create our integer for a random number. So, we're going to just do int random num. And that'll be fine. Now we're going to do uh, outlet for, so we're going to do IV outlet UI text field so we can enter our our number actually and we'll call it field. Keep things really simple. Now we just need one action so when uh, we're ready we can click guess. So we're going to just do a simple IV action and then we can say enter guess. So ID sender. So that's all you need in our .h, really simple. And we can copy our action because I'm lazy like that and jump right into our .m, paste that action instead of a semicolon. We're going to do open curly brackets and close them. And now what we're going to do is create our, um, our random number. So um, actually, let's, let's do this. Uh, when the view loads, let's create our random number, and this will be to guess. So, what we'll do is um, we'll take our random number. So we'll do random equals arc for random percent, and then whatever number you want it to be between. So zero, let's say zero and ten. And of course, you can take this code and put it into an action if you'd like, but you can put it in the void viewed load after the super viewed load and that will generate a random number when the the app launches and um, for text uh, testing sake we're just going to actually add an, I'm sorry guys we're going to go back into our dot h and add a label so we can see what number it generates sorry guys um, so we're going to do another IB outlet UI label just call it label sorry about that so we can um, obviously you might not want to put what number you're supposed to guess in a real game but this is just of course for testing purposes and uh, we're gonna uh, go back into our dot m and now we're gonna use an if statement to check if our number is equal to this random number and of course you can make it between zero and whatever number you'd like so uh, we can do simply if Okay, field int value, oops, int value equals equals random, oops, what did I do there? Oh, I must have, field dot text, sorry guys, wow, okay, it's like, 11, 12 o'clock, um, but anyways, so uh, sorry guys, I just totally blanked out there. Anyways, what we're going to do is if the field.txt int value, of course you could do float value if you wanted to do decimal numbers, but for now we're just going to do whole numbers. So we're going to do if the 
the text and we're going to get the actual value because we're just going to allow the user to enter integers um, into value is equal to our random number then we can let's uh, how about we display an alert so we can do a simple UI alert view um, and we can call it alert equals space bracket UI alert view a lock close those brackets and we can do init with title at you you just correctly and then message you can do whatever but I'm not going to do any message delegate will be self cancel button title will be dismiss of course whatever you like and other button titles will be nil so just close all those and we want to show the alert as well so we're going to do alert show so um, so that's if every our our input is equal to our random number so um, what about if um, it's not so we're just going to do if else so we're going to else and we're just going to copy this alert view code paste it right in and of course you're just going to say your guess was incorrect okay so there's all the code you need for the um, the entering your input it's actually really simple and just a very simple if statement so if our text is equal to a random number you guess correctly if it's not your guess was incorrect and we also want to display the random number on our label so what we're going to do real quick is label dot text equals space bracket ns string which is a string of characters a string with format format at and then those quotations and what we're going to do is um, number and then of course you can type whatever you like percent i that means an integer is going there and then comma random so we want to display on the label like so so it knows what our uh, what number we want to display in this spot so I hope that made that all made sense and um, that's all we need for coding really actually quite simple and we're gonna go right into our uh, view controller dot XIB uh, we're gonna drag in the label to show our random number and we're gonna drag in a text field and um, we're gonna drag in a uh, let's just um, we don't need a button but of course you can add a button um, so what we're gonna do is go into our files owner drag the label to our label the field to our field and we can actually just drag the action to our field as well and do did end on exit so when you press that little return button it will execute that action so we can go into the attributes here and we can just make it so that the keyboard will only allow us to enter um, you know what you don't have to do that so you can play around with these but there's a lot of different keyboards I'm just gonna keep it a default um, I'm gonna change the return key to um, go so you can play around with those little settings um, so that's all we need here and we're gonna build and run and see how this goes so hopefully everything will build all well and it does so that's that's always good okay um, sorry I have to make the label a little bit bigger Wow guys I'm really out of it today um, make the label a little bit bigger so that all the text can be displayed correctly and as you can see our random number is six so let's enter five and click go as you can see your guess was incorrect which is true and how about let's enter six and as you see you guessed correctly so our basic um, guessing game works perfectly um, add this to your apps of course play around with it and get creative I hope you enjoyed I hope I didn't mess up too bad uh, again it's almost 12 o'clock and um, anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time